make sure you've got something nice and comfortable. Okay, your legs are gonna be up in the air, hands out to the side, and you're just gonna squeeze in. So you're just lifting that chest up off the ground. Try and keep those legs as straight as you can. And always really squeezing that back flat into the ground. Okay, so keep it going. We're just gonna squeeze up. Now I want you to hold at the top, little pulses. So you're just really trying to squeeze that back into the ground, okay? At the same time, trying to keep those legs straight. I know lots of things to remember, but you'll get there eventually. So keep squeezing for three, two, one. Okay, coming down, bring your hands out to the side. You're gonna do big scissor kicks, okay? So I really wanna make sure that you've got your back flat on the ground, because at any time it does this, uh-uh, it's not gonna be good. You're gonna wanna straighten out, and then just not drop your legs as low. So that's it, so nice big scissor kicks. <sighs> nice big breath in and out. You can kind of hold onto the ground a little bit for support. See if you can get your legs slightly lower and just touch the ground for me. <sighs> that's good. So keep it going. I want you to squeeze those glutes, okay, into the ground, squeeze the back into the ground too. <sighs> and just relax that head. Don't want you to look up, okay? So you're just gonna be keep touching. That's it. Now try and get a little bit of a faster pace going. That's it. Now if you can't get all the way down, I just want you to go as far as you can without that back coming off the ground. Okay, back to going nice and slow. Now who wants incredible abs? Who wants to get that flat tummy? Then you guys, you can get it. You have to believe it first. We've got loads of awesome blogs at RL Healthy. So make sure that if you do need some help with nutrition or maybe some inspiration, then Alfie and I have got you covered. Okay, so keep going, squeeze in and out. Okay, great job. Now, our legs straight up to the sky, and then I want you to come down as near as to the bottom as you can without your legs coming off. Squeeze those knees in towards the chest, and then extend up. So it's nice and slow all the way down. Come on, keep that back into the ground, squeeze it at the bottom, and then pull in and then all the way up to the top. Okay, now one leg at a time. So you're gonna come down, squeeze that leg, and then it's gonna join it to the top. Okay, so dropping that left leg down. Okay, keeping everything nice and tight. Squeeze, knee into the chest, and extend. Okay, let's do it with the right leg. So you're gonna come as low as you can, okay? And you're gonna hold it at that lowest point. You're gonna squeeze it, and you're gonna squeeze those abs into the ground. I know it hurts, I can feel it too. And then lift. Okay, let's keep it going. So all the way down. Squeeze. Now guys, if you're watching telly, you can have this workout video in the background so that you're actually multitasking and getting really great results as well as watching your favorite TV show. So squeeze all the way down and up. Okay, let's take both legs down again. You should really be double feeling the pain right now. Double feeling that burn. Those abs should be trembling. Squeeze, bring here. Okay, great job. Now just planting those feet flat on the ground. Okay, we're just gonna lift up that chest and we're gonna touch our heels. Okay, so work in those obliques. <sighs> Guys, it's only 10 minutes. Can you imagine if you did 10 minutes every single day of abs and you ate well, oh my goodness, you're gonna have a bikini body in no time. But remember, it doesn't happen overnight. It's gotta be one pound at a time, <sighs> one ab workout at a time. You just gotta stay consistent. <sighs> okay, let's keep it up. Keep that chest up. Now hold it here. I just want you to do a nice eccentric hold. That's it, squeeze in. Bring those shoulders a little bit higher. Relax that. Kind of just try and relax that neck for me. That's it, for three, two, one. Okay, relax down. And I want you to do is come onto your side. Okay, so we've done those side planks before. I want you to lift up, but you're gonna bring the knee in towards your chest, okay? So option number one, you're gonna come onto your knee and you're just gonna hold up. Okay, what I want you to do is working here. So none of this sagging, you've got to squeeze up, okay? I want you to put your hand there and actually feel it too, because you can actually feel that muscle working when it's really, really tight, okay? So if you're gonna come up, option number two is you're gonna bring the knee into the chest and extend out. That's it, we're just gonna do a few on each side, and maybe you can do one today, maybe tomorrow you do two, and before you know it, you're gonna be doing these in your sleep. But you've got to practice, okay? Everything doesn't just happen straight away, but you will get there if you keep going. That's it, squeeze. Let's just do two more on this side. And in, okay, now just hold it up here for me. We're just gonna do a nice hold for five, four, three, two, one. Okay, lower those hips down gently. 
Everything nice and controlled, and let's do exactly the same on the other side. You might find that this side is just easier, okay? So squeezing up, modified, you're gonna come here. Or if you want to try, come up to the top, and then pull that knee into the chest. That's it, nice and stretch out. Even if you can just do one today, it's gonna to be a good start. That's it. Remember we've got that hold afterwards, so just keep pulling up those oblique muscles here, keep squeezing nice and tight. That's it, three more for three, two, and let's do one more, and then we're gonna hold, okay? So get nice and comfortable, pull up those hips even more. Come on guys, you can really squeeze that. Up it goes, for three, two, one. Okay, relax down. Now come over, we're gonna do one of my favorite moves that I like to do on the beach. It's one of my sea creature moves, which is a starfish. Okay, so if you guys are following on Instagram, it's Rebecca Louise Fitness, you'll be able to see the video that I actually did on the beach um, in Mexico. It's kind of funny. Okay, so your arms are just out like a starfish, okay, and you're gonna squeeze across. That's it, so nice and easily, lifting that chest, and then the opposite arm to opposite leg. Nice and simple, and it's gotta be controlled. This is how you're gonna get those results, guys. It's not about how fast you can do it, it's about how controlled. Okay, now I want you to hold it here in pulse. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come down, and let's do the other leg. I want you to lift that other arm up for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one. Okay, coming down. I want you to have your arms out to the side. Okay, get your feet comfortable. Okay, arms over the head, and you're gonna do a full sit up. Okay, you're gonna twist either side, and then slowly come back down. Now the goal of this is to be the slowest person to come all the way back down. Arms over your head, and then just rolling up your spine, and then you're gonna twist at the top. Now, if you wanna make this slightly harder, okay, when you come down, don't put your arms over your head, put them to your side, squeeze up, only come up halfway, squeeze, squeeze, and then down, okay? So just give it a go. So you come up, halfway, squeeze. That's it, drop down. Let's just do two more. So all the way up, squeeze those obliques. That's it, calm down. Okay, now when we come up to the top, I want you to do a pulses, 10, Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. It's the other side for ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We're gonna do it again. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Lean back a little bit more. Three, two, one. Last set. One, two, three. Come on, lean back a little bit more. Five. Four, three, two, one. Relax down, pull those knees in towards the chest. Give yourself a little kiss on the knee. Okay, Whew. now we're gonna finish off, okay, with the last set of a workout that's gonna help lower this lower pooch area. Okay, so lots of you are saying, how do I get rid of this lower pooch? Well, 80% is what you're gonna put in your belly, and the other part is gonna be that exercise. So you're gonna make uh, pointing with your hands, and you're gonna pull through, and then come down. Okay, so almost all the way up, and just squeezing through. So hands in between those legs, and come down. That's it guys, you've got it. It's just a small motion. I don't want you to come all the way up to the top. Breathe in. That's it guys, keep it going. Two more, down. And the last one, you're gonna come all the way up to the top. Keep it going, I know your abs are burning, but I don't wanna have a rest. I wanna keep those abs going. And you're just gonna hold at the top. Okay, so just squeezing it here. Good work. Okay, keep it going. We're so almost finished. You've got this, guys. Give me 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Last 10 second hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Come on, keep it going. 3, 2, 1. Relax those knees. 
Now, you guys who stayed right to the end of the workout, you'll know that that last minute was the crucial part of your workout, which is so important that you finish every single workout because those last few minutes is when the change is gonna happen.